Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and so today we are going to be doing the team building guide for the Extreme Z Battle for AGL Turles. Uh, by the time this video goes up, I think the uh, event will be coming out in something like 9 hours, somewhere around there. Um, it's like 7.30am UK uh, time, so late in the evening if you're in the US or I guess the super early hours of the morning depending on your time zone but I will be live to stream it so uh, make sure you guys are subscribed turn the notifications on or you know join the discord follow me on Twitter YouTube can sometimes be annoying with getting out notifications but I always tweet and post in the discord when I'm gonna go live as well so maybe I'll see some of you guys there so obviously AGL Turles typical 30 stage extreme Z battle um, you can't really use extreme units literally from stage 4 onwards, uh, you get 70 they do 70% less damage, it's basically what that means, so you want to be going for super class units where possible, um, obviously units SSR or lower can only do a certain amount of damage, the additional damage reduction goes up for extreme units as you get to stage 13, but that's it, one of the things you will notice is there is no typing uh, bonus so there is no specific typing that's going to do super less damage as well although obviously str units are going to have type advantage so for a typical 30 stage easy a you get all the way through you get your 30 stones for doing each stage you get 11 agl kais which obviously you can use to get turles up to sa15 all the medals and of some of the orbs as well and then there are missions um for beating it within a certain time and on stage 20 using at least one character from the special category which you know obviously you're going to be doing so there's another four stones there so 34 stones in total from doing the entire EZA all the way through as long as you use the right characters and as you saw from the mission description and the thing up here at the start of the video the special class for this one is low class warrior so this is an interesting one because the category is not very big so it's not really going to be a super varied like team you don't have a ton of options uh but fortunately there are a lot of strong free to play options um it's kind of funny that this farsha just came out on jp she obviously was not out when this easy a came out on jp and is not out currently on global now that it's coming to us she would be insanely good for this uh by the way because she is an incredibly good unit but as always with my team building guides i'm going to go over the top picks and honorable mentions if there's any units you think i missed or that i should have talked more about let me know down below in the comment section and obviously if you find the guide helpful at all do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new so jumping straight in obviously they always do this with celebrations right where the new unit that's just come out is most likely going to be the best leader for the easy a so while raditz does not lead low class warriors every single low class warrior is a pure saiyan and a lot of them are on space traveling warriors so even though raditz himself is going to be getting the damage nerf because he's an extreme unit i mean let's be honest he doesn't really do any damage anyway but if you use him as the leader you can bring any pure saiyan units and they're going to be getting the 170 lead and of course the space traveling warriors getting the extra 200 percent which applies to like all of the team bardock units and stuff right so obviously this guy best choice for leader even though he himself as a unit is not going to be super good in this easy a he's giving a 200 percent leader skill to a lot of the units who are going to be very good now if you're like a lot of people and you didn't summon for raditz because realistically you probably shouldn't unless you're someone who spends on the game and then you could have you know got the ticket pack or maybe tried the uh discounted steps but for most people who don't have this guy um, obviously we have the AGL Bardock is the actual official like low class warrior category leader 4 key HP 130 and 170 to attack and defense the 4 key is nice because there are a few LRs on the team that you can use um, obviously you're not fighting a wicked bloodline enemy so he doesn't get a lot of his extra bonuses he's basically going to be on the team to just be the leader and then probably be like an off rotation unit because even though he raises defense on super um, he's, the event's not long enough for him to be able to stack up really high um, and the other thing with him as well is obviously in easy A's you can't use units with the same name and there are definitely other options for just base Bardock that are better than this guy but obviously if you don't have Raditz um, this guy can be the next best leader in terms of percentage 
Um, then, of course, we have the Tech Raditz, who is a much older unit. He was the side banner unit for AGL Bardock. He has a low-class warrior leader skill of 3 key, HP, attack, and defense 120%. So, obviously, you can use him as a stand-in leader if you want. Um, against one enemy, gets a bunch of extra attack and defense. He's probably better against multiple enemies when he has the damage reduction. Because one thing you definitely notice in, like, Super Battle Road, when you drop down to one enemy, his defense is definitely not as impressive but in this event he's in the specialized category and he's got type advantage he is an extreme unit again though so obviously he's not going to be doing a lot of damage but he's kind of like a last resort for the leader i guess i wouldn't bring him on the team otherwise and of course if you have the new raditz you can't run him anyway so then we have the version z goku so version z goku is on low class warriors he's probably like a must bring on the team because everybody should have this guy very easy to get a free to play unit and very good uh, for how easy it is to get him um, regardless of who you're running you should probably just bring him on the team anyway as a friend like as a floating support unit but he does have an all types leader skill three key hp attack and defense 59 percent not the highest leader skill in the world of course but if you really are lacking other options then you can go ahead and potentially use this guy. So it wouldn't be a uh, team building guide against a pure Saiyan if we didn't at least mention Tech Khalifla. So Tech Khalifla, obviously you can bring her on the team even if she's not getting a leader skill from your leaders. Uh, it really doesn't matter. That just means she's going to do no damage, which she doesn't do crazy damage anyway. But she has a 100% chance to dodge against pure Saiyans. So obviously you can uh, bring her on the team and she's just not going to get hit ever. So you can keep her on rotation every single time, you know, the slot with the most attacks, you just put her there and then you take zero damage. She is a pure Saiyan, of course, so if you're running Raditz as the leader, you can actually just run her under the leader skill. And then the same thing goes for God Goku. So now that God Goku has his easy A, he gets the damage reduction against pure Saiyans as well. So again, even without a leader skill, because he has 77% damage reduction and type advantage, you can just bring him on the team and he's going to be fine, even though he's not a low class warrior and again he's a pure saiyan so if you're running raditz as the leader he's getting a 170 lead from raditz so he's going to be perfectly fine so these two of course because it is a pure saiyan and an agl pure saiyan at that these two can make very good fill-in units even if you are able to build a very strong full low class warrior team i'd probably throw god goku or something on there anyway if he fits the leader skill just to make it even easier and if you do want to farm past stage 30 for extra zenny this guy's going to come in really handy in those later stages so on to the actual low class warriors so obviously we have physical lr bardock i did a showcase video for him the other day of him on the 200 percent lead with raditz and he is still a very impressive lr like his easy a is very good he's not like the best easy a lr or anything like that but i'd say he's in the middle or at least towards the upper middle of the easy a lrs he's definitely not one of the worst ones so he's very good. Obviously, if you are running a lot of the low-class warriors and other members of Team Bardock, you can get some really good link partners for him as well as support. So this guy probably going to end up being one of the bigger damage dealers on the team. So if you have this guy, he's probably like a must-run as your main hard hitter for this EZA. Uh, then, of course, we have the actual LR Team Bardock, the free-to-play LR that you get for doing all of the separate free-to-play units. Still don't get the last copy to uh, rainbow them. They still don't have an EZA, which they really do need if they want to be competitive in the current meta. But at least for an EZA, as long as they're not like eating a super attack on stage 30, then obviously this unit should be okay to hang in there. They give a ton of support. Obviously, if you are running a lot of Team Bardock units, including the physical LR Bardock we just talked about, they do give 60% attack and defense support. So obviously they give a significant amount of support to the Team Bardock characters, and you can basically make a full Team Bardock team for this. I mean, you can, as a full free-to-play option, just use these guys as the leader, bring the full, like, Team Bardock free-to-play team, and then just bring, like, a pure Saiyans or a Raditz friend or something like that. The friend won't be getting the leader skill from this Bardock, obviously, but you could actually get through this whole thing with a full free-to-play team if you needed to. And then, obviously, most people are going to have some extra units, at least, that you can then sub in and make that team a little bit stronger rather than just running the full free-to-play version. But, yeah, apart from being a little bit squishy defensively, these guys, the fact they give 60% support 
they're going to be very, very good on the team. So then we have this kid, Goku. I wanted to talk about him. He was part of the three uh, units, the great ape units that got easy A's. Because he's a kid, Goku, he's on low class warrior. He's actually pretty good. He's got solid stats. They jump up nicely when he super attacks. So he's not a slot one unit. And then if you're on 80% or less HP, he has a medium chance to launch an additional super. His super attack raises attack and defense. So not only does he get this buff from his passive, he gets the actual super attack buff. So if you get a turn where he double supers, his defense is actually very, very good. So, And of course, you have the chance to transform into a great ape, which is a little bit annoying sometimes. Obviously, you do less damage a lot of the time than you would if you just had your full rotation of normal units. But it's a couple of turns where you can't take damage, which in an easy A is quite nice because obviously you can't use items to heal or anything like that. So this guy could be pretty good. The only downside to him is unless you're bringing some other transforming units that are going to have links like transform say in raw maybe sharing the limit he's not going to share a lot of these other links with units on this team because he is a dragon ball saga character so that is something to bear in mind he doesn't give himself key in his passive um and he doesn't have uh prepared for battle so obviously you've got to be careful when it comes to linking him up with somebody else on the team uh, then we have the actual Int Kid Goku. So remember, because they're not Great Ape, like they, they are named differently, because of course the EZA you can't use same name units, as we already said. These two would link up very well together. Although this Goku is starting to get a bit outdated now. He definitely needs to get an EZA soon. Uh, it's been a long time since they've done a proper Dragon Ball Saga related thing. I guess on JP we have the new uh, Prime Battle LR is the TN, but... Um, that's from, uh, he's saying Saga, isn't he? Yeah, so, no. <laughs> still no Dragon Ball Saga stuff. I see TN and I think, oh, old characters, but yeah, we're still, uh, still not doing Dragon Ball Saga stuff, so this guy desperately needs, uh, a buff. You could run him on the team if you're running the physical one. He does have the active skill, which gets a guaranteed crit, and then he guaranteed crits on that turn that the active skill's usable anyway. So he could be okay. He is a low-class warrior, but he's not going to be tanking supers very well or anything like that, so be careful if you do use this guy. Then we have the full free-to-play Bardock team. So I thought it was worth talking about all of them. They are going to be all pretty good. Even Bardock, who has type disadvantage. Um, if you are running enough Team Bardock allies, he has 50% damage reduction and he's a nuking style unit. Um, even on stage 30, if you picked up enough orbs and he'd super attacked first, he probably would live a super attack from Turles, especially on like the 200% team of Raditz. So don't shy away from using him just because he's STR. Uh, Farsha is obviously really good because she can dodge and if she dodges in slot 1, she gives Team Bardock allies an extra 30% attack and defense, which is very, very good. The rotation of her slot 1 physical LR Bardock slot 2 and then the LR team Bardock in slot 3 if she gets a dodge to get her support I'm pretty sure in the 200% showcase I did uh, physical LR Bardock gets like a 13 million attack stat on that turn as uh, rainbow level 10 links so that like she's very very good for providing that support the downside is obviously if she doesn't dodge especially before she's supered she can take quite a lot of damage so be aware of that uh, Tora is the one that has type advantage and he's a support unit he raises attack and defense on super so he's a perfect unit to bring as a slot three floating unit uh, if you have three or more low class warriors on the team which obviously you probably are going to have a full low class warriors team unless you're bringing god goku or Khalifla, but you're going to have three or more allies so he heals 15 percent whenever hp is 85 percent or less so again very nice for an easy a where you can't use items uh ball ghost is just overall solid against only one enemy and especially when you can't stun he's nothing special but he does still hit very reasonable stats and then Shugesh obviously raises defense on super just has very solid stats overall when being run with another team Bardock unit you can't apply status effects to the enemy in an easy a so he's not going to get a lot of his extra buffs as well but he's still very solid if you can build the team with some of the other more premium lower class uh, warriors the best ones to bring out of the free to play ones are going to be Tora and Farsha overall but they all can be very very useful I did a video using all five of them under Raditz's 200% leader skill uh, and that team works very very well so all of the free to play team Bardock units are useful in this EZA and then we have the uh, I brought up this tech great 8 Bardock as an honorable mention all of the team Bardock members do have with great 8 versions but they're all kind of lame they really need easy A's even this tech one to be honest I mean look at his passive attack 100% when HP is 30% or more so if you're at 29% or less HP doesn't even have a passive 
Uh, he greatly raises attack for one turn. So obviously his defense is not going to be very good. The only reason I mentioned him out of all of the Team Bardock Great Apes is because at least he has type advantage. So if you really are desperate to fill the final slot on the team, you could bring him. But as I said, if you can build a fairly decent low-class warrior team, but you're missing one or two units, um, that's when you probably want to bring in like Tech Khalifa or God Goku. So going back to the low-class warriors list, obviously Int Raditz, you know, he's extreme. So there's no point really going over the extreme units. It's only worth bringing like one of the Raditz as if you're using them for the leader skill. Um, let me see. Turles, again, no extreme units is really worth talking about here. Great Ape Tora is a support. But as I said, the Great Ape uh, Bardock squad units are all pretty weak. I guess the free-to-play uh, Great Ape Bardock is kind of decent. I remember using him on the Team Bardock SBR stage. But everybody else here, like STR units, you don't really want to run. I guess the 8-bit Goku is actually pretty decent. So he could be a good option for the team as well. Um, and then this guy, actually, because he has a heal uh, when you drop below a certain amount of HP. After he got his easy, I think it was last year in the Worldwide Download Celebration, he actually became a very good unit. So he's a good honorable mention for the team as well. Getting that free heal. If you have a weaker team and you're struggling in the later stages and you have this guy, then he definitely could be very helpful. So there you go. Those are the top picks and honorable mentions for Low Class Warrior for the AGL Turles EZA. Like I said at the beginning, if you think I missed out any units or I should have talked more in detail about a certain aspect of one of the units that I did cover let me know down below we can continue the discussion in the comment section and uh, let me know what team you are planning to use against Turles so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the Master Ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and I will see you all again soon have a good one